Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. My name is Monica McCown, and I'm the executive chef here at Artisan's Table on Church Street in downtown Orlando. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make our shrimp and sausage pappardelle pasta with a roasted red pepper and goat cheese cream sauce. So the first step to making the roasted red pepper and goat cheese cream sauce is we're going to saute some onions and a little bit of oil. I'm just using a blend of canola and olive oil here and just one small white or yellow onion that's been diced up. We're going to start to sweat that in our oil. Whenever you're sweating onions, you always want to add salt to them. That helps bring out the water and keeps them from burning and gets a nice even cook on them. So while we're sauteing these onions over like a medium low heat, and letting them sweat. I'm also gonna fry up some rosemary for my garnish for the plate at the end of the day. So I've just got one sprig of rosemary here. This is plenty for a couple plates and I'm gonna leave all the needles right on the rosemary when I fry it. So I'm gonna drop it in just a couple inches of oil, let it sizzle and we're just gonna let it go for about 30 seconds just so it gets nice and crispy but it's still bright green. And you can see as it fries up, the little bubbles will get smaller and decrease as the water escapes. And right before the bubbles stop, we wanna pull it out and just put it on a little tray or a plate with some paper towels and let it drain. We're gonna set this aside and use it for later. So now we've got our onions and they're starting to get a little bit translucent and soft. And so at this point, we can add our minced garlic. I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit and saute the garlic and the onions until the garlic gets nice and fragrant and everything starts to get just a light golden brown. We're gonna add a little bit more of our salt and pepper mix here because we like to season at every step of the process when we're cooking. So now that our onions and garlic are starting to get golden brown on the edges, you can really smell that garlic cooking. I'm gonna add our, roasted, or our red pepper flakes into the oil, let them bloom and get warm just a little bit. Now we can add our cream, our goat cheese and Parmesan. So this is a cup and a half of half and half, a cup and a half of Parmesan, 12 ounces, which is a cup and a half of goat cheese. I'm gonna turn the temperature up just a little bit on this. We wanna get the half and half to start to simmer and let the cheese start to melt, but we don't wanna bring it to a full boil or else the cheese will start to separate and you'll get like globby little lumps of cheese and fat in there. So we're going to give this just a couple minutes to start to warm up and let that cheese get nice and melty. I'm going to start to break up my goat cheese a little bit in here as it starts to get softer. Helps speed it along a little bit. And you can see that that cream is starting to simmer around the edges and the Parmesan is melting in, the goat cheese is all melting in there. So at this point, the cheese isn't completely melted, but it's nice and hot and simmering. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat so we don't overcook our cheese. We're gonna put in our roasted red peppers. These are just canned roasted red peppers that I've chopped up. Put them right in there. And I'm gonna use an immersion blender to blend this all together and make a nice silky smooth sauce. All right. Now we have this nice smooth sauce. We're gonna set this aside and we're gonna start working on the final shrimp pasta. All right, so now we're gonna start making our shrimp pasta. First thing I wanna do is cook our pasta. We have some really beautiful pappardelle nests here that we're gonna use. And I'm gonna add this into our boiling water. 
These are just gonna take a few minutes, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop them now while we finish the rest. All right, so we got our pasta cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and get a nice big saute pan. When you're sauteing, it's always great to have a really nice wide pan so there's plenty of room for all the ingredients to really get lots of contact and space. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of oil to my pan and you can see it's nice and hot already. So that oil gets nice and thin and really shimmers, it's good to go. We're gonna do this over about like a medium heat. First, I'm gonna start with my sausage. What I've got here is a smoked bison sausage that we like to use in the restaurant. You're welcome to use any type of sausage you like. If you want to use like an Italian sausage or a link sausage that's not cooked already, I recommend baking it until it's done and then chilling it before you dice it up. But crumbled sausage would be great in this as well. So I'm gonna start heating up my sausage first. Sausage is a lot more dense than the shrimp is. So we wanna get that going a little bit first. It's really important not to overcook our shrimp. So we're gonna add them just at the last minute. See, we got like lots of nice space in between all the sausage. It's gonna let it crisp up really nicely on all the edges. I'm also gonna loosen up my pasta over here to make sure it doesn't get clumped up while it's cooking. So now that our sausage has started to cook and getting crispy on the edges, we're gonna add in our shrimp. But first, before we put it in the pan, we're gonna season it generously with salt and pepper. The sausage doesn't need to be seasoned because it's already salty, but these shrimp definitely need some seasoning before they go in. So I've got about 16 shrimp here. I've got some bigger shrimp. I think this is a great amount for two people, um, but you can use whatever size shrimp you like. So go ahead and add our shrimp in. Make sure they're all getting some nice contact on the bottom of the pan. Shrimp overcook really easily and they get a really rubbery texture if you overcook them. So at this point, I'm gonna turn down my heat a little bit more. It's already a lot of residual heat in that pan. We're gonna let that get into the shrimp a little bit, but we don't wanna overcook them or cook them too quickly. So as you can see, the shrimp are starting to turn a little bit pink on the tails. It means they're starting to cook. So we're gonna go ahead and flip them over. Nice, beautiful pink with a little bit of golden brown on the edges. And now, before we let it cook too much further, we're gonna add in some of our sauce. So we're gonna add in two or three cups of sauce here for our shrimp. Depends on how much sauce you like, but I like a lot. As you can see that sauce is nice and hot already, so it's starting to simmer right away. And our pasta is ready. So I'm gonna come right over with my cooked pasta. I'm gonna let it drain a little bit, but I want a little bit of that pasta water to get in here as well. The starches in the water really blend with the pasta, help it stick to the pasta, or help the sauce stick to the pasta and help give the sauce a really nice, silky, glossy texture. So we're gonna let this dish all simmer together the pastas actually and the shrimp are gonna finish cooking in the sauce in the last 30 seconds to a minute of cooking time right here. Now, if your sauce isn't quite as thick as you'd like at this point, it's a great opportunity to add just a little bit of Parmesan cheese and that can help tighten it up. But the sauce will thicken a little bit as it cools as well. So our last step now is to plate our pasta. So what I like to do 
is try to grab as much of the pasta as you can and pile it up in the middle of your plate first. You can even kind of twirl it, get it nice and tall. You don't have to get all of it, but get a nice pile there. And then we've got all the shrimp and sausage and extra sauce left in the pan, which we can dump on top. Take a clean towel, always wipe our plate, make it nice and beautiful. And as a finishing touch, we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit more Parmesan cheese on top of both of our pastas. And we're gonna crumble up some of this fried rosemary. See it falls off the stem really easily. And that's it. It's Artisan's Table Shrimp Papardelle with smoked bison sausage and a roasted red pepper and goat cheese cream sauce.